So it's getting late here in Baguio City. It's around almost 10 o'clock and you can hear outside that there's a lot of people probably because the neighbors just finished having a party. Anyway, um, I think it's time to open this box of luminance. Okay, just to preface guys, so this box of luminance has been sitting under my desk since December 15? No, no, no. Yeah, I guess so. Around that time, this um, mid-December, I bought this while it was on sale in Art Bar Bayou City. And I told you guys about my Jonah complex about this um, luminance set. And I'm, I'm nervous right now to open it. But at the same time, you know, if we don't rip off the band-aid, we're not going to let the scab form. We're not going to let the wound seal. We're not going to move on to greater things. And I think there's no point with this one sitting under my desk. I think, I think it's time. Don't you think? Hi, let's open it. Uh, so this is the glorified box of the Karen Dash Luminance. The box really feels premium and I don't know if you guys already experienced opening one of the Karen Dash boxes like this but it feels like it's jewelry wrapped in an entirely luxurious case. Like what's only missing from and separating this from a box of jewelry is the velvety um, top coat of this one. So I prepared a swatch sheet. To be used later when we're gonna swatch but first let's open this up one thing that prompted me for, for to open up this um package of colored pencils after a while is that i noticed that there's already a tear on the side of the shrink wrap and i know i know that's a shallow excuse to want to open a pencil but you know <laughs> there shouldn't be an excuse for one to open a pencil that they bought with their own money let's just put it that way so you already know the packaging of the karen dash luminance you have here Karen Dash, um, Geneve, Geneve, which I think is from Geneva, Switzerland. And then you have here Luminance 6901, which is the ASTM standard of um, light fastness. Then you have here now it being Swiss made and really targeted for artists. You have here now a description of Luminance, the Luminance pencil, and the timeline of the Karen Dash um products. So it says here Luminance 6901 colored pencil combines the highest light fastness with the smoothest of permanent lead. Permanent. Mm -hmm. That's a big claim. As a result, you have over two years of colors that have been formulated from pigments selected for their purity, intensity, and resistance to UV. Conforming to the strict ASTMD 6901 standards, Luminance 2901 will significantly extend the life of your creative professional's work. Wow. Let's open it. So, of course, foam, foam everywhere. And you have here now the um, pamphlet about the product with um, certifications, which is really good to know. So these are the sets of the Karen Dash Luminance. You have here now the 76 assortment, which I wish I could have got, but <laughs> money was short during that time. I wanted to buy for my family during the holidays. This is the one that I got during the holidays for myself. 20 assortment, 12 assortment, and I believe they also have right now the um, 100 assortment and the 20 portrait assortment. So this is, I think, old product already before they rebranded, which is, you know, I'm not mad at it being old product since it's still the Karen Dash um, pencils and I think there's nothing much to fear. So it comes in two trays and the bottom of the top tray also has a foam, um, dense foam coating. So you have here now 40 pencils, as you can see. All looking gorgeous, glamorous, bougie, all those positive things. Now looking at the leads alone and the color range, I'm going to show it to you guys. I think it's pretty balanced. You have here now a good spectrum of the warm tones, the cool tones, the earth tones. I see a lot of natural tones here more than the um, vivid colors, which I am happy about. Okay, So let's take a look at one pencil. I'm getting the black. So the pencil has a good weight to it as you expect by the way <laughs> i'm acting as if it's my first time to touch this but actually i've already tried using the luminances open sock okay so you have here now the um the cedar wood casing the karen dash um labeling the color name and pigment number luminance six nine i mean sorry yeah six nine zero one a barcode you have here also it's light fastness you see there now the lf1 so you know it's a permanent color, or at least permanent under um, 
museum conditions. Let's put this gorgeous pencils to the side. I've already prepared a swatch sheet for them here on my Tokyo Finds um, big sketchbook. So let's see the colors from pencil lead to um, paper. It's my first time using the white, by the way, and I have a lot of expectations because I heard great things about the Karen Dash white. So I'm going with one light layer all over. Like, I'm barely pressing into the paper. And now, here at the tip, I'm going, at the end, rather, I'm gonna go slightly deeper. I'm gonna get right into the grooves of this um, surface. So, the, oh, it's lift, I apologize, it's lifting some of the water, black watercolor I put underneath. That's why it's turning a bit gray. But as you could see, it is a strong white color, which I love. And I will be picking up more than um more than one of these ones just to make sure that you know I don't run out quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go to time lapse mode already and we'll see the colors swatch out on this notebook. See you by the end of the swatching session. So after swatching the set, um, I can already say that this is actually a pretty complete set of colors. Like, it has, it indeed has a proper representation of the color spectrum. I made a boo boo here, and I wrote here sepia fifty percent. When in the set, actually, it comes with a permanent red rather than a sepia fifty percent. So I think um, I was referring to a newer set since this one was, I believe, an older packaging based on the pamphlet that's inside. But nevertheless, I mean, look at them. Look at the colors. You will truly enjoy using these um, Karen Dash colors alone. And in case you want other colors aside from these ones, maybe you're thinking of something in the middle of this um, this burnt um, burnt ochre 10% and this um, brown ochre, something a bit more yellowy flesh tone, then you can purchase um, those pencils open stock. Now I was um I've been saying this um a couple of times for my um for reviews on pencil sets and I stand my ground when I say if it's non-soluble if it's non-mixable um if you're working with markers or with colored pencils with pastel pencils um pastel sticks those sort of mediums I think it's best for you to grab somewhere around the 36 range rather than the 24 colors because you get more representation colors you'll get more of the spectrum and in turn you could create more with those color selection that's there okay guys it's been a few days after I filmed the first impressions of the Karen Dash Luminous and I apologize if I did not um, mention anything about how the pencils perform but here is the 40 set i kept the 40 set here and some of my open stock pencils separately these are a few of them that i place on my um pencil holder in front of my desk um desk tour coming soon <laughs> anyway so i rearranged the pencils in such a way that separates the warm tones from the cool tones so warm tones on the top cool tones at the bottom 
mostly um cool tones but there are some still reds there but i think this is a more conducive arrangement for my case of the um pencils but talking about how the pencils perform um these pencils are pretty crumbly um compared to let's say polychromos or your um prisma colors but um it doesn't have that big of a wax bloom for me it feels like it's a proper balance of oil and wax um i don't i believe i'm not the first one to have said this but this Karen Dash luminance feels as if it's a mixture between your classical highly pigmented and creamy prismacolor premier pencils and the strength of the um polychromos um i think arlisha yetzer from arley bean mentions this one while she was reviewing some of her art supplies that um there are products that shine on their own and there are products that get in your way and there are products that just get the job done this pencils form in the first category we're in they shine on their own like you don't have to exert that much effort in order to get the results that you want unlike um using those student level pencils wherein you have to really press hard to get any pigment out of it or to really um to really get some results that's um close to professional level not that in any case i'm a professional but you know what i'm saying like um these pencils really perform extremely well um aside from its packaging aside from its um light fastness claims aside from you know the price tag and the glamour that's attached to the um luminance label these pencils are really great art materials and if you um have the budget to purchase them go get them and if you're keen on trying them out but um you're still a bit short on your budget, I suggest you can build your collection of these pencils slowly. They are available open stock, and I'll be linking some of the different websites wherein you can get them open stock, such as Colt Pens, Dick Blick, and um, some of the open stocks are available also in Southeast Asia through Shopee and here in the Philippines Art Bar. So there's that. Um, I hope you appreciate my quick spit of a review on these pencils um post production of the video that's that's intended to be posted anyway thank you for bearing with this quick insert i have a lot of art to share i have a lot of art pieces in mind already in fact for the next video i hope that you guys look forward for it because it's going to be a drawing slash art talk so until the next video I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your month. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all thriving. I wish you all a great day ahead and of course, peace.